Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire, and I decided the win straights were legitimate, so because I know you guys like grinding, I'm gonna get you some nice grinding. It's a wonderful New Year's present. Think it, think, yeah, think of it as sort of a belated and also terrible New Year's present. Alright, let's do this. So, I'm going this way. I'm walking into the grass. I'm walking back and I'm walking forth. And it's a Rosalia. Although I still feel Ill illegitimate using Mikulay to beat the Zigzagoons. Really, in some senses, that's kind of silly. And it's only illegitimate because I decided that it was weird to not use my full resources with Mikulay in the first place because I didn't want him to get too overleveled. Also, if Sludge is going to be one hit KOing Rosalia's, this is going to be a lot easier than I thought. Except for it's not. So Afflinger level 24, fantastic. So good of you to do that, Afflin. And then after this, I'm going to go back to probably like Duford Cave to train Phantasm up a bit. So that at least the fact that I use that uh, super, that uh, Soda Pop can be sort of justified, even though it will never actually be justified. Okay, having poured this many resources into making my team fit for taking on the third gym, I'd better at least go all the way, I suppose. Wow, that hit for a good deal of damage. Alright, double kick. That's a move. One hit KOs are Okos. Let's see what I find. Hopefully Rosalia, because they're the only things that don't really scare off one. Alright, here's a Zigzagoon. <laughs> you all know of my intense passion affair with the wild Zigzagoon. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring out Mikulay. You know what? Why isn't Afflin holding a thing? It seems silly for Afflin not to be holding an item. I should at least give him Quick Claw, because he's really, really slow. <laughs> It seems to make more sense to give Athlon Quick Claw, although maybe once Phantasm evolves, that prediction will change. Let's see what my Pokemon have even got. Okay, you have nothing, you have a Quick Claw, and you have a Soothe Bell. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give that to Athlon, and let's see what else I've got. Um, I don't have a Mystic Water, and I don't have, like, a Charcoal, so I think that's all that matters, really. Alright, let's go. Find a thing. Alright, Rosalia. I'm gonna use Sludge, except I'm paralyzed. <laughs> See, there! I can be paralyzed faster than any other Pokemon! Because I'm holding a Quick Claw now! Oh, did I just use Sludge again? That was stupid. I should have used Pound there. Hope I'm paralyzed. Well, <laughs> doesn't come when you need it. How could that ever happen? Athlon game 304. Great for you, Mr. Pudding. And here we have another Rosalia. I'll bet even the soda pot that I used on Athlon is going to end up being mostly worthless. Okay, I mean, oh, was that two Quick Claw activations in a row? Paralyzed Afflin certainly isn't actually faster than that, Rosalia. Alright, here's a Zigzagoon. I love them Zigzagoons. That's why I'm switching out now, so that I don't have to deal with one. Like, it really occurs to me that allowing one heal per Pokemon Center might actually be a bit much. Because, like, by, by using my own parameters and by allowing items in any capacity, I've allowed myself to grow my team way past what the land should allow, what the trainers themselves should allow, what the experience threshold should allow, because it enables grinding, and through grinding I can just 
I mean, what's to prevent me from just Max throwing up Mikale's double kick at some point and then just going all out and destroying enough Pokemon to get Mikale to a massively massive level so that I can just take on any gym? The only reason I have a multiple Pokemon team right now in the first place is that I think it's more fair and, and, I, and out of some notion that eventually I'm going to need more than one Pokemon, that may not even be true. I mean, how is the Elite Four going to take down level 100 anyways? I mean, sure, I think this is probably the better option, especially, but I mean, not even necessarily, if I don't get it. Because I guess level 100 could fall to the champion, maybe. But I mean, really, Mikale could pro uh, level 100 Mikale could probably one-hit KO most of those Pokemon. And I can't think of a very compelling argument for not doing that, so... I probably ought to stop switching Mikale in so haphazardly, because I'm probably going to need him for some Phantasm things. Uh, double kick. Because I no longer care which power points I use. Because there's no way I'm going to train Mikale to his full power point extent. That would just be cruel and unusual punishment for the wild Pokemon native to this region. So yeah, I don't even know anymore. Maybe I should just be saving up my items so that I can use them on other Pokemon. Maybe I should just stop using my power points to their fullest extent. Maybe there needs to be a rule against battling wild Pokemon, I don't know. But the thing is, if it were just trainers, then Mikale would be incredibly far ahead. And I mean, the thing is, if I weren't doing this right now, and if I weren't grinding up Athlon and Phantasm, I would have a really tough time winning in the third gym. With the Pokemon that I've currently got, with the three-member team that I've currently got, I could get destroyed. But no... By using the items that I've got to their fullest potential, even if I only have one heal per Pokemon Center, I don't even need that. I've only needed to use four heals. I have I have as many heals backed up as I have heals that I've used. Like, I mean, sure, when I get later on in the game, I'm going to require heals more frequently when I start running into you know, bosses and plots and trainers that have Pokemon that are challenging and evolved, but even that eventuality seems pretty far away. I mean, what's going to happen after I beat the Mawville gym? I'm, gonna, gym? I'm going to have to do Trick House and then make it to, like, Fall Arbor all in one go. And the strange thing is, that's completely doable. With a team like this, I can do that. It can be done. I'll save as I'll save as many many heals as I can. I mean, I need more Pokemon eventually, but the thing is, by this point in the game, I couldn't have gotten that many more Pokemon. I could have gotten a Zigzagoon back there, but it's not but that wouldn't be worth the Pokeball, not in the long run. Especially since I don't really believe there are that many more Pokeballs that can just be found on the ground in the entirety of the game. I'm gonna use Yawn now, and... Oh, well, that's unexpected. So, yeah, there's the Confuser Egg, yes. So, no point staying in now. I may as well switch out to... Phantasm or Mikale? Uh, yeah, let's at least make there exist some reason for having used that soda pot by switching out for Phantasm. And that reason is to get Confused Raid and to be made to switch to Mikale. Go figure, go figure. It's like, somehow, this Nuzlocke, these Nuzlocke rules have allowed my team to become stronger than it might have been at this point under ordinary rules. It would have been a two Pokemon team if I hadn't played this desperate swing for the fences of equality on them. Because I don't want to have a two Pokemon team. That's why I'm training everyone up right now, is so that I can go into Watson with a fairly balanced squad. And it wouldn't even be balanced if I had used every power point that Mikale has. It wouldn't even be that balanced if I used all of Affluent's power points, or if I used... And I sort of intend to use all of uh, Phantasm's power points before I go in there. I mean, obviously I'm going to try and use as many Athlon power points as I can. 
See, here we go. Final stage in the desperate swing for the fences. Body slam? To which I respond, please. Yawn is worth nothing. I would love me some body slam. Or sorry, pound is worth nothing. It's worth power points, but in the long run, worthless. Why, hello there, new team member. How good of you to join us today. As you can see, those stats are a lot less terrible than they were previously, and they rival Mikale's, although not really, which is sort of sad, but... Afflin is suddenly looking incredibly strong. Heading into the sort of wind down to the gym. Suddenly, obviously, being due to evolution and all that, but... See, now I'm obliged to use Body Slam's power points, too, before the heal kicks in. Alright. Let's see how sweet this Pokemon really is. Still slow, but... I would call that sweet. I still love that cry. Let's see if Body Slams is good. And that would be no. Well, it's certainly better than Pound. And I mean, see there, I just didn't, did it again. I could have gotten rid of uh, one of Afflin's cool moves, moves for Body Slam, but then I didn't because I'd rather... Because I didn't, because I didn't want to have to use every Pound power point and to get Afflin more and more experience points with each heal. It seems to me like this concept is flawed in some way, and that's depressing because I really liked this concept. I really enjoy this concept. It's nice that Athlon's already paralyzed. <laughs> now there's nothing to worry about from things like Roselia. Also known as One Hit KO from Body Slam. I'm probably going to divide this grinding video into two halves because it's such a grinding video. See, now Afflin fear fears no Zigzagoon and requires no Mikale assistance. The thing is, everything I'm doing is perfectly legitimate according to the tactics of Pokemon. I was trying to get a... I was trying to create a variant that could be... That could be difficult without requiring to, the player to handicap his or herself that much. Like, I don't want to remove the entire systems of, system of items. I feel like it... There must be some way to balance it to make it work. But yet... I mean, see, now I'm just displaying blatant disregard for Athens' remaining HP because I know how close a heal is. At this point, it's not even so good, so much good that I'm paralyzed because what well, Roselia is going to stand to turn is going to stand to turn in the ring with Athlon. Now that Athlon has become super Athlon. What else do we got? Yep, yep, yep. Afflin is paralyzed. That was the fastest being paralyzed that I've ever seen. Afflin's speed is still pretty lame, but we'll see if uh, Phantasm Zevo's speed is about as lame.
Man, he is so good at being paralyzed. This might be trouble. Para hacks plus confusion hacks. Oh my god! Oh, at least I'm fast about being confused and paralyzed and... Hitting through the double team. And okay! I, I can, I can, yeah, I can get behind that. The thing is, now I have no excuse not to use every body slam, too. Because I am, after all, playing this game to its full potential. Aren't I? That is, that is what my intent was, wasn't it? Was to test how far the limits of the Nuzlocke could be pushed. If there was some way such that grinding could be minimized according to some sort of set of rules, according to the clever use and maximization of one's own power points, but... I mean, because in a regular Nuzlocke, all you get is grinding, because everyone's too afraid to go into a gym with underleveled Pokémon. But, I mean, now the grinding has become even more insane, because it's been legitimized. And, I mean, when there's a clear stopping point, that's great. What happens when that clear stopping point is when all of your Pokémon are four levels above the lowest, above the highest level gym Pokémon? And when there's no longer anything for the next couple of gyms that can even touch you? It strikes me as a very glaring flaw in my system. Although, flinch zigzagoons are still annoying. I mean, I'll continue to take this. I've got to keep on doing this and keep on getting my Pokémon better. Because it's still important to me to win this Nuzlocke because I love these Pokémon, but... It just feels like there's some flaw in my system that needs to be worked out. I don't know what that flaw is. But the only way for my Pokemon to come even with Mikale is for them to take a commanding lead through grinding over everything else, and for me to deliberately hold Mikale down so that Mikale can't hope to compete with them. I mean, if I'd been using all of Mikale's power points, he'd be at like 34 or something right now. Because I know Mikale to be capable of one-hit KOing Pokemon until forever. So... I mean, what? Should, the, should, should it just be no KOing wild Pokemon? Or you must run from every wild Pokemon as opposed to running from none of them? Then won't there be some sort of experience shortage? There's got to be a better way to do this than this. So right now, even the very grinding itself is endless. And because I have to go all the way back and grind Phantasm in a couple of minutes. Once I'm, fi once I'm finished uh, beating things with Aflin. I mean, this training for the third gym is very necessary, otherwise I would get myself into deep trouble with uh, Watson. And I'm probably going to need two heals to get through that anyways, because I don't want my entire team paralyzed heading into whatever the next area is. Unless I don't care. I mean, Afflin doesn't seem to care so far that he's been paralyzed. Afflin's just like, yep, paralyze me all you want, I don't care. Okay, Zigzagoon. Afflin flinched, great. But it doesn't matter what happens to Afflin's hit points because there are so many of them and I'm using Heo before the gym anyway t thanks to paralysis and lack of power points. <sighs> All of a sudden... Well, at least I didn't flinch! <laughs> Oh god, maybe I will have to switch Afflin out. This is sort of annoying. Suddenly 42 hit points looks a lot less impressive. Obviously it goes without saying that if Afflin weren't paralyzed, he'd be decimating all of these Pokemon.
I just don't get what the spirit of this Nuzlocke is now. The worst that can happen to me is a critical hit headbutt flinch, which is 10 damage. Which is now probably slightly more than 10 damage. It doesn't even matter how many paralysis hacks I get in a row. Where Afflin would have been terrified just a few moments ago. Actually, I'm going to call this the point where I switch out to Mikale and leave because Afflin's getting low on health. And I mean, the wild Pokemon certainly don't pose any threat. Alright you guys, this has been another um, existentially frightening episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. When we return, more grinding! Alright, thank you all for watching, and... <coughs> Sorry, that's a cough. Um, that's actually about it. Alright, see you guys later.